Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do another reading for the uh, super full moon eclipse, you know, the, the full moon eclipse, the super blood moon, okay, the 20th to the 21st. This is my second reading. I already did one. Um, I had to stop for a minute, and I just went and made a cheesecake. So here we are. We're back to do another one. Anyway, um, so we're going to use the Vice Versa deck. I've cut this deck like I always do. And we've cut it to the Queen of Wands with her back turned. So this is a person who may be giving up on a situation, uh, turning their back, not losing focus, losing concentration, not wanting to put in effort, not having the desire to fight anymore. Uh not wanting to communicate perhaps just going within you know thinking about the roots that she has built um, that have kept her confined okay so we have somebody here that is um, it's almost like turning my back on life right now to go within and and figure out where I'm going all right so we're just gonna leave that right there for a minute I just got to look. I don't know why. Ooh. I don't even know why. Very painful. There's heartache here. And probably that's why this person has turned their back. There's been a lot of pain. There's grieving. There's sadness. Um, there's some sort of, of heartache here that has caused somebody to retreat. Okay. And really need to um, refocus. Definitely some heartache going on here. Pain. Heart pain. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy. For this reading right here, what do we got? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we got? Death. I knew it too. I did. I, I should have just said it out loud. I knew this was what was going to come up. I absolutely, positively did. Son of a gun. I should have just said it. Anyhow, yeah, it's the end. Because I saw this and I was thinking death when I was looking at this card. Death of a toxic situation. Death of a bond. It's painful. It's painful to release and let go. And that's what's going on here. We have somebody that is releasing. They're transforming, transitioning out of a very painful situation. Death is usually painful. Usually it is. So it feels as though we have a, we have a, we do have a completion here, a painful one. But with endings bring new beginnings. We all know that, right? So this is this is an ending that is going to bring a new beginning. It is. Although it may be pulsating, you know, and it may be really hurting. It is going to bring you to a better place. It really is. It's a time of transition. And somebody may need to go within and turn their back on the world as they transition out of this painful situation. It's the end. It is the end. The end of pain, right? Somebody's doing what they have to do to protect themselves. Being honest. This is the this is the sword that cuts. It's the sword of power. It's the sword of truth. Somebody is waking up to the truth. Mm. 
there could be some communication that comes through that has made somebody realize that they got to do something different. They got to protect themselves. They got to stand up for themselves. They got to do something about the situation. They got to do something. They need to take a new approach. Somebody is realizing that they need to take a new approach because somebody else has turned their back. Interesting. Oh, and the fool. Well, I just, I, did I just do this reading or what? They do this all the time. They repeat the readings. When that's the message, that's the message. This is just clarification. Starting over. Going, about, going, on, my, going my own way. Starting over. Starting from scratch. Taking a risk. Somebody is about to take a risk. It's like, I can't stay here. I can't stay here anymore. There, that's all the fool takes with him. Remember, I told you in the reading I just did, the fool takes very little. All the fool takes on his journey is what he can fit in that bag. And that is not very much. So, I'm going to follow my dreams. I'm going to follow my wishes. I'm going my own way. Somebody is deciding to go in a different direction. They're seeing the truth, they're accepting the truth, and they're taking a new approach. I'm gonna fight, they're gonna fight for something. Somebody is gonna fight for something. Oh, the tower. <laughs> There's that jolt we talked about the other day. Lightning strikes. Shit starts to crumble. Something gets lost. People are watching. People see what's going on. People see that somebody has been stuck and they have been stuck. We got the hangman. It's like he's ready to communicate. This person is ready to step down. He's no longer, I mean, here he's all alone. Here he's looking at people. Maybe somebody has given him some information. He's listening. He's listening to them. He's being spoken to. We have somebody here that is receiving some sort of communication about what needs to end, about the truth. Somebody is going through some sort of enlightening and it looks like there's something that is definitely crumbling. Definitely. There could be a fight. Somebody could be fighting and giving up, giving up on a on something. You know, there's a fight that happens. Somebody turns their back. They don't communicate and they throw it away. It's like I don't want this anymore. It's all false. It's all a lie. This is all a lie. And there's going to be a rude awakening. Somebody is getting a rude awakening. There could be some drama that, you know, causes somebody to drop something I'm just gonna this is not solid it's not stable it's not secure and I'm seeing it clearly we have somebody that is starting to see something clearly about where their wish fulfillment lies because I just happened to see the stars in this card somebody is seeing the light about where their wish fulfillment lies it looks like they're gonna take some sort of action there's a lot of pain here with this five of cups we had this in the other one as well there's still love. There's still an opportunity for the Two of Cups, but there's been a lot of pain. There's been a lot of hurt. Whew. And this person, whoever it is, we have somebody here that keeps on going back mentally. It's like emotionally going back to something that really, really hurt them. And it's like maybe they're thinking they, if they take a new approach, they can get this love back. Okay. Somebody wants a fresh start. Same story, right? 
Somebody wants a fresh new start, and they're gonna they're gonna take a risk. They're gonna take that leap. One more card. Oh, oh, uh oh, seven of pentacles. We got somebody here who's not very happy because they didn't take care of it when they should have. The tree is now dead. It's dead. They didn't water it. They didn't take care of it. It's like this guy is waiting for something to happen that's never going to happen because he didn't do what he was supposed to do. And now he's not happy. Right? He's not. He may have invested his time and energy in somebody that was alive, was a false foundation, something that was wasn't stable from the beginning focused on something that was <laughs> unstable basically you know it wasn't ever solid it wasn't ever solid and it looks like this guy was probably investing his energy over here when he should have been investing it over here he might as well take that shovel and dig it up it's dead He brought his shovel because he knows it's dead. But he doesn't want to believe it. Somebody has invested their time and energy. Wasted their time here too. Wasted their time on a dead end false foundation with somebody who is perhaps, I mean going different route, lackluster. Can't communicate. Anyhow, now now we have this person who's not happy because he he wants to go take, you know, he wants to go get. Well, he didn't nurture, but it's too late. Where's the other freaking pentacle down here? I had it covered up. I was like, there's only six pentacles there. He didn't reciprocate, had one covered. He didn't reciprocate. He didn't He didn't do what he needed to do. And now it's like he's missed the opportunity. He has missed an opportunity. And he wants, he wants, he wants, he wants a fresh start. So we, and it is somebody from your past. Waiting. Hold on a second. It's like somebody from the past, the Six of Cups, wants a fresh start. Now, I don't know if this... Because Six of Cups, I mean, that can be... Uh, this is somebody from the past. I'm not going to try to change it up, okay? This is exactly what this is. Somebody from the past wants to fight for... A new beginning because I believe that they were invested in a false foundation with somebody else and now the opportunity has been dropped and lost and they realize they've had an awakening they've had this person has had an awakening they have they have I mean they have and they want to go back they want to go back to what has already crashed and burned. They wasted their time. They see it. And they want a fresh start. And they're losing sleep over it. They're in their own prison. It's like they're still in prison. They're in prison. That's a prison bed. They don't want that ten of swords where it's really over. They're thinking about making an offer. The Knight of Cups, right? 
they're thinking about making an offer but they're really protecting themselves see he's got his armor on he's like I want to go I want to come out of my shell and it's like he is coming out of his shell but still in protective mode and maybe this person it wants to come protect you he's got a cup of love here definitely at nighttime thinking about it heavily at nighttime Okay, somebody is really, really thinking about communicating at night, and that's when it comes up the most. But very scared and very, you know, in denial about the truth. I mean, they, he knows the truth, or he or she knows the truth, but really protecting themselves, afraid, afraid to let their guard down, afraid to get rejected. We have somebody here that is pretending right now that everything is okay and everything is not okay and they this person wants to open up but they for some reason they can't they can't it's like they're blocking their true feelings blocking themselves from communicating these are swords of communication If you, they see but not wanting to see it's like I see but I'm going to pretend I don't see because they you can see like underneath the bottom of that thing it's kind of loose pretend you just pretending pretending that they don't see because they're trying to protect themselves from getting hurt or trying to protect themselves from love you know from 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 getting their heart hurt You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't know how to love or doesn't know how to be loved because they've never been loved. We're dealing with somebody that is emotionally unavailable. Seriously. But really does want love. Definitely mentally trapped. We got somebody here who is so trapped, blindfold again. It's like just refusing. Just They know. I know that they know. This person knows. They've been enlightened. They see the truth. They know the truth. But to come outside of their comfort zone is, I don't think, that, I mean, this person wants to. This person really wants to come out of their comfort zone, but... They can't master their emotions enough to do so. This person wants a new beginning. They do. And there is an opportunity. There's that lightning strike again. It's like, yeah, they're, they're being uh, definitely poked. It's like there's this new desire to start over. There is. So, yeah, somebody definitely wants to start over. Now, at this point, this can be a brand new partner. It can be. And this person, because this card is going to go right here, this person may see, because he's not happy, somebody's not happy, that you're starting over. You've got a new partner. Somebody's got a new partner. This is a new partnership. This could be you starting a new partnership and you're still mentally trapped on the past because somebody's still mentally trapped on the past. There's no doubt. And now we got this new partnership. It's happening real fast. Really fast. It's like there's no time to think. Somebody's charging in. Somebody is going to come in to sweep somebody off of their feet. They're going to take a risk after they made a mistake of letting something die. That's what this is. They're going to put in effort. It's an eight of coins. Somebody is going to take a risk. They're going to find the courage to come in and communicate how they truly feel. Whether this is somebody new or somebody old, you, you've known this person before with the Six of Cups. 
whether this is somebody new and it's a past life relationship, it could certainly be the case. This is somebody that you have known before and it is somebody that you have been waiting for. It's somebody from your past that you have been waiting for. Now, this could be somebody you haven't met in this lifetime. It absolutely could. This person has just gotten out of a relationship with somebody else. That's what I see. They have just barely had a breakdown. There was a fight. Things crumbled. It's over. And now they're heading in your direction. And that's what I got for today. But we were going to get one of these too. So let's see. We'll go a step further. Passionate new beginning. That's what we got here. And this is this is like a soulmate connection. It is. We got a soul, two soulmates that are coming together. They are. Somebody is going to take a risk, face their fears. Even though they're scared, they are really scared. They are. They're really scared. They're. I think they're going to do it. They got to fight for it now. It's like I got to fight for this. I got to fight for this opportunity. View from above. Yes, yeah, somebody's got a new, uh, had some sort of awakening. There's no doubt about it, too. View from above. New beginning. Big new beginning. Something has ended. Something big. A relationship, I think. And now... There's an opportunity for a new beginning in a new direction. These are both headed in a new direction. Wherever it is, it's buried out there. I'm not going to dig it out, but whatever. View from above. Get the big picture. Don't get bogged down in details. Let go of petty concerns. Get the big picture. Imagine. Imagine this. You're seeing life from above. Only do what is truly important. Everything else is inconsequential. Go through each area of your life to look and see what the big picture is. What do you want? Where does your heart lie? Make major life decisions based on this strategy. It's easy to forget what the overall journey is about when the traveler gets caught up in day-to-day -day survival and the ups and downs of life. It's only when the traveler takes time to look at the big picture that he realizes that most worries and anxieties are only temporary. Imagine yourself in the future. Ask yourself if what you are doing now will be important to your future self. Is this where you want to be in the future? You have to fight for what you want. Focusing on these concerns takes up valuable life force energy. Keep your focus directed on the important things in life. Let everything else drop away. Mm -hmm. 
it's time to start over. Only honor your soul, your desires, your wishes. Doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or says. They don't live your life. They don't feel your pain. Remember we saw that three of swords? The only one that feels your pain is you. Follow your truth. Be honest with yourself. Stop sacrificing yourself for other people. It's time to wake up. Good luck.